Hey YouTube! Today is a big day. I've been waiting a long time for this, and let's take a look at what I got. My LP has finally arrived after multiple months of waiting. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Let's go! Uh, we've been uh, really interested in trying deep dropping this year for swordfish, and in uh, the canyons, uh, it drops down very deep, and you need to go like 1,500 feet deep, put on lots of weight up here in Jersey because of the current. You might have 10 pounds of weight, and who wants to reel in 10 pounds of weight? I don't. So, let's take a look. Here we go. The instructions. As you can see, a couple pieces of paper here. Very, very high tech. I am just blown away at the quality of this, but let's move along. And then inside here, a little tool here for, I guess, adjusting different pieces of this reel. And let's take out some of the styrofoam. All right, look at this. And this model here I bought, this is the Variable Speed LP1200. So this is a, a newer model that they have, and as you can see, it's quite big. All right. And here it is, the LP. some of these features here. Nate, why don't you come on over? We'll take a look at some of the cool stuff this thing can do. So there's a couple buttons here. This is for manual deploy and retrieve. So if you want to manually uh, deploy or retrieve it, you just hold the button and then we'll send the line out and hold the button. It'll bring the line back in. This will reset the counter for you. Uh, actually, I think this is the variable speed. And over here, this is the lever. I'm assuming this is also for deploying and retrieving the line, and this is most likely the drag. So one of these days I'll actually look at the manual, but it seems pretty easy. There's only a few buttons. Hopefully I won't mess it up too bad. It also has a level wind here, uh, auto stop. So it's fully featured. It uses a 30 amp plug. Let's take a look at this. So you just get a little 30 amp plug, plug that into your boat. And now you can have very simple lever based deploying and retrieving of fish. All right, so this is the rod that we're going to pair with this LP. As you can see, it's a custom rod that I had made by a local rod maker here in Jersey. His name is Bogan Custom Rods. Uh, there's a, a bunch of rod makers here in Jersey. Another one is Grown, but I got this one from Bogan. As you can see, he put the name of my boat on here. He put some really nice wraps on here, and we have a Winthrop roller tip for the tip of this rod. Uh, and I also have for this rod, since it's gonna be exclusively used for this uh, LP, we have an adjustable Alps button. So you just click that into place, screw it in, but this will be used solely for this LP. So we're really excited to try it out, but you can see the craftsmanship of this particular rod. Really nice wraps all around. He can customize it. It was a great job. I have a bunch of rods from him and some uh, rod makers, so uh, we're really excited to put this to use. As soon as we get the boat out, we're going for swords. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Captain Stan here. If you like what you're seeing, you want to learn more, like and subscribe. Click below.